Howdy y'all, I got the Bulldog on the channel. What we're working on today is an 07 Honda Odyssey and we got alternator trouble, uh, among other things. And what we're gonna be doing, I've already got the old alternator out, I didn't film it because I don't know how to bleep words yet. So what you do down in here, this area back in here gives you enough room to pull the electrical loose and the charge wire you can feed back up through here and get it out of the way and right there that's where the alternator goes you you pull the bolt out of the tensioner and kind of push it back over top of the crank fully there's a better, better picture and you get the alternator loose and you pull it out here and you rotate it a quarter turn so that the uh, bottom is against the block and then it'll kind of come out into this hole and it doesn't look like it'll come out but you take this loose here and push it back you can get enough flex out of it as long as it's not too brittle and then you pull that hose over like that and there's just enough room to get it out now I made the joke when my son was born that you know I told the doctor after he came out he says, your, your job's easy, you just catch. You want my job, put them back to the same pole. Nobody laughed. I mean, no one. I mean, that's comedy gold there. I thought it was hilarious. But that's what we're gonna do here in a sec. I'm gonna get that ready to go. Now we've also, this thing was coated with oil. I mean, it was black everywhere, it was greasy. And fortunately, it's above freezing now. So we turned the water on in the back shed. My boss hooked up the power washer and he washed all that in there and got it nice and clean for me to work on. It, that makes a world of difference. And the belt, we just got a new belt. It looked good, looked okay. But look at that, look at that delamination of the belt and then look at that chunk gone out of it that is a result of oil that rubber you, yeah you use rubber seals to seal oil but they you, you, there's different kinds of rubber that doesn't take oil it absorbs it and it softens and it starts flying apart so if you've got a bad oil leak somewhere cleaning the belt off is a must if it's short term. If it's long term, replacing the belt is a must. So I'm gonna to try to film putting this alternator back in. I know kind of the procedure. I know about how to get it in there without uh, expletives. Let's go for it.
All right, there we go. I'm gonna put my electric back on it. And we got a new belt to throw on there. And then the reason that there was oil everywhere is that right here, uh, light without blinding, there we go. You can see how deteriorated that hose is it's seeping oil all around right here. So it was leaking out there, it was dripping down on the pump, and then the belt just flung it everywhere. That and the fact that it would get low until it started buzzing. And then the customer would pour oil in it, but he poured her full in the reservoir. So when he did that, when he started steering, the air in the system would foam the fluid all up and it would gush out everywhere, making a huge mess. People would think, well, it's way over full. Well, it's not exactly over full. It's cavitating, which makes it foam. And foam is bigger than fluid. So it'd be okay while it was running and he'd shut it off and it would regurgitate out. That's why you have to bleed these systems. And most of the time, they bleed themselves. You just have to be careful about it. So I'm going to finish this thing up, and we'll get her back on the road. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification. Share it all around. Talk to you later.